the Indian room is 1901 through 1953, all the Indians made in Springfield, Massachusetts. Well, you guys know that Teddy is the motorcycle kingpin, you know, from V-Twin. He has the old Motorcyclopedia Museum here. But of all the museums I've ever been to, this museum right here, Teddy's got tons of gold sitting right in here. If you don't come down to the Motorcyclopedia Museum and see everything, not just our stuff, dude. Like you said, we're sitting in the Indian room right now. There are so many cool Indians around here. Uh, you would spend a day just in this room looking at all of them. You know, I, I, this is my second time here. And I'll come back every year I go to Dead Man's Curve because every year you see something new. It, it, it's the whole, and it's not just Indians, dude. It's Harleys, Popes, Flying Merkels, Black Shadows, any kind of motor, Triumphs, any kind of motorcycle you can think about, dude, is right here in the world's most epic museum, dude, guaranteed. So I think what we are, we're actually an educational uh, museum uh, we have a charter from the Board of Regents of uh, New York State Education Department. So the education is a big part of it. They ask us how many children come to visit, you know, from the different schools. So uh, the motorcycles, you know, the technology, the technology, we really want to explain things, how the development was and how it's connected to the culture. So it's more than just about the physical, you know, mechanical motorcycle. Yeah, there was a lot of things happening with motorcycles just before I got into it. I mean, when my dad bought old Harley Davidsons from the LAPD uh, auction and brought them home and chopped them up, that was like in the 60s. So, but you know, when I started working at museums and oh, I saw a 1903 Harley or, you know, it was over at Von Dutch's house and, you know, like that bike he rode in the Reavers. Yes. That, with that car he uh, built he for. He built the Reaver car. Yeah, he built yeah. Steve McQueen's car and then. He's in the movie because he's riding on one of his old Harleys. So, you know, all that stuff, it, you know, became very interesting to me, you know. And, like, I'm so glad I'm here today, Teddy, man. Can't wait to walk around and check out I, stuff. I think Bud Eakins, when I met him at McQueen's auction in 1984, I think he was actually crying. Yeah. Because he did so much work for McQueen as a friend. Yeah. You know, working. I was over in England once, and this guy walks up, and he's got a Triumph T-shirt on that says Bud Eakins on it. And I go, dude, where did you get that shirt? Because last time I saw Bud was at the uh, Peterson Museum for the uh, Big Daddy Von Dutch Robert Williams auction, and he was in a wheelchair. And I go, hey, Bud, man, you remember come? I'm one of Ed Roth's kids. We, we used to come over to Von Dutch's house, and you and Steve would be there, and Steve give us a ride in the half track and stuff that he had out there in Calabasas. It was like goes, man, yeah, I remember you guys. And, you know, I don't know how long he lived, but he lived a lot longer than Von Dutch. I think Dutch died in 91. I think it was Bud Eakins that had, he had a small museum in North Hollywood in the 80s where yeah. he had everything in like a metal building, all up on yeah. racks, all lined up. Yeah, well, he, uh, you know, the bike that Fonzie has in Happy Days is one of Bud's bikes. You know, that's right. Triumph? Yeah. Triumph, yeah. Yes. yeah, so like, I don't know where that's at or who owns it, but, you know, Bud and... Von Dutch had a prop music, like a, made Rental. props. Yeah, yeah, made props for the movies. A lot of people don't know that. So, anyway. But a lot of the writing was Bud Eakins as well. Oh, dude, I know. All uh, the Great Escape, everything was yeah. Bud. He, he was he was an over the top guy. But when you know when you're a little kid, I, I, we just wanted to go to Von Dutch's and swim in his pool. You know what I mean? And him and uh, Dad and Steve McQueen and Bud Eakins, they'd be in the back, you know, shooting off powder guns that Von Dutch would make that week or whatever. It was the 60s, you know. Now the Kardashians live in Calabasas and Justin Bieber. Okay. They don't even know the history on that city, so <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, the mechanical history with all the you know, cars and bikes, uh, quite a culture, and the, the, the start is a good story. Yeah, and, and like, you know, like I said, Von Dutch was even into old bikes, dude. All the time, whenever he went up there, he had some kind of trick bike, and, uh, you know, he had that Swiss Army bike that would, like, ford through rivers and climb mountains and oh, stuff. Oh, it's got he, the intake. The yeah, the, intake yeah, is up the, in the air. Yeah, and the exhaust goes up there saying you ford through rivers. He loved that thing. Yeah, Von Dutch was a motorcycle nut, and if he was here right now, he'd probably just want to move in, Ted. you never get rid of him. <laughs> yeah, he loved that. He might have even lived with his bikes in North Hollywood. He had them all lined up. Yeah, uh, out. in the end, he was living up there at Brucker's Ranch in Santa Paula around all his stuff. And uh, 
Great guy, crazy. but crazy as shit. You know, crazy. My mom used to always call him that funny little man. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, 